good afternoon everyone i think uh, it's a fantastic uh, webinar and i think uh, many practically important points are being highlighted in everybody's talks so i am trying to share with you some unconventional uses of various orthopedic instruments various orthopedic instruments are designed for a specific purpose but orthopedicians are known for doing jugaad with their ideas and use of their instrument you know as uh, abhishek has already shown you know the lamina spreader is one such instrument which is basically used uh, designed for distracting the lamina during spine surgery to give you a better space but the unconventional uses are you know for a open wedge high tibial osteotomy you know this instrument is used for both for creating valgus as well as whenever you want to Uh, change the slope of the upper end of the TV articular surface, especially in the ACL deficient knees. You know this instrument can be of great use in TKR surgery. Whenever you want to see the extension gap and when you want to take care of the posterior structures, this instrument can be of a very good use. And as Abhishek has already shown for doing orthodesis in joints, you know for distracting the joint. to take care of the articular cartilage this instrument can be useful this is a use for doing high tibial osteotomy open way you can see the uh, the instrument being used posteriorly before you put on a plate this is a cm image and this is the clinical picture this is another instrument which all of us have some dental surgeon friends and you know radius and nail as tanna sir has said you know sometimes especially for radius nail when you have hammered the nail the nail gets flush to the bone surface and then holding that nail to take it out becomes very difficult because no instrument can very easily go there so these are the instruments which are used by the dental surgeons for dental extraction and you can see the surface you know they are very pointed thin and they have these serrations and you can easily slide this instrument underneath the nail and it has an excellent grip and difficult nail extraction can become very easy with this kind of instrument similarly this dental mirror you know the pediatric orthopods that we have when they do the excision of the facial bar you know you can make a small window in the metaphyseal region you can pass this dental mirror inside and your bar can be used under the control of this particular mirror wherein you can excise the bar in a you know facial bar situation similarly the german orthoscopy surgeons you know they have used this similar kind of a mirror from a posterior portal and then by putting a scope from anterior side they can visualize the posterior side of the tibia very well Uh, while doing the pcl and some other uh, surgeries where they have to visualize the posterior part of the tibia very well the pituitary rongers you know normally meant for removing the disc if you make a little longer design you can use it for removal of the cement from the canal when you are doing revision joint surgeries and removal of the soft tissue tumors in the spinal cord you know this instrument can be of a great use these dura retractors which are normally meant for surgery of the spine very commonly are used for taking out the extra cement when you are doing the total joint surgery especially the total knee replacement and it can be used very very efficiently for the same the mallet in somebody's slide this was shown you know the mallet which is normally supposed to hammer you know i think rajan only chandak only showed that you know when you are trying to achieve a difficult reduction of a shaft femur in a close interlock nail you can just put one sponge on top of the uh, hammer and then this mallet can be used to push the fragment where you can give a very point pressure and correct the displacement and you can use this mallet very effectively for getting a close reduction to pass the wire and the reamer then this b spin or wire loops which are normally used by the orthoscopist or by people who use So please stop your sure. video so that we can listen. To pass the suture, yeah. Tend to Achilles. Uh, you can uh, when you want to reinsert it, you know it can be used very effectively to pass through the calcaneum and to do a pull through technique. You know. 
then this is a straight long artery forceps and a simple shaving blade when uh, hambi's knife was not available i have done hundreds of times you know beautiful long strips of skin graft only thing is you get a narrow strip but then you can take out beautiful skin grafts with this kind of a needle hambi's knife not everyone can afford because it's a costly instruments for the younger surgeons who are just starting i think this can be a extremely useful tool then whenever you are doing joint replacements many times if you have to take out a stem which is put inside you know the threadings or the uh, extractor threadings are sometimes spoiled so if you have elizaro rods you can put the threadings of this are very well matching with the threads of the uh, prosthesis so you can put a rod put the uh, nuts on it and you can use a round hammer which you normally use for extracting the femur nail or tibia nail and you can use that as a extractor i have been able to uh, salvage some of the difficult situations with this elizaro rod very well then suction cannula can be used as a k wire bender you know many people use it routinely but in emergency suppose you don't have a z bender along with you or the other sophisticated benders that uh, are already shown this can be of a great use and the last one is k wire which is one of my favorite instrument i have given a one of the orations on the percutaneous wonders by using different techniques in k wires i think these are some standard uses wherein you use it for lower end of the radius then for the proximal humerus and uh, i number of times used this k wire as a drill bit and the situations i'll explain to you basically in cases where there is a proximal tibia fracture with an acl bony avulsion and you have done a plate for the lateral condyle you have lifted up the condyle and you have fixed it and then you want to fix the bony avulsion of the acl there are number of screws through which you have to drill and many a times if you use a drill bit it gets stuck onto the screw and you can uh, land up with a situation of breakage of a drill bit in that situation if you use a k wire as a drill you know the chances of breakage of the wire are absolutely zero and you can drill it very comfortably through that similarly you know when you are using a uh, superior surface plate for the pelvic pelvic vestibular surgeries you know many a times the patient has a big tummy it becomes extremely difficult to direct your drill bit onto the uh, superior surface and in that situation you know the abdominal pressure sometimes can land up with a breakage of a drill bit so what you do is for putting the superior surface drill bit you can use the same 2.5 mm k wire as a drill bit and the chances of breakage because of the tension on the k wire are zero similarly when you are using it through the articular surface of the trochlea or of the capitulum if you use a drill bit you know it destroys the articular surface or even if you are using it from posterior to anterior for a fixation of the capitulum you know the k wire tip the moment it starts becoming visible just underneath the articular surface you can stop drilling and you can use either from posterior to anterior or anterior to posterior screw which is very obviously seen in this kind of a situation you can see this herbert screw being passed and then you do not damage the uh, articular surface as you can damage with a drill bit similarly when you are doing a bone marrow aspiration you know the aspiration technique which was shown where you have a beautiful imported needle available but many a times you don't have facility to get that needle and you have to use it with a ordinary bone marrow aspiration needle and you realize that when you are trying to pierce that needle inside the tip of the needle bends so what i do is i use a k wire to make a small hole into the cortex and then you know you don't land up with this kind of a situation of bending of the tip and with this ordinary bone marrow aspiration needles you can very comfortably go in and the blood also the marrow comes very comfortably through that so this is the technique and the golden wire you know i have shown this particular uh, use of the k wire when you are doing an open way osteotomy this is a wire which is used in oblique direction when you are opening up the wedge 
this prevents the breakage of the bone hinge on the lateral side so this is called as a golden wire uh, for doing a high tibial osteotomy you can see this is a wire which is used and this prevents the breakage of that and the last one which has already been spoken you can use the k wire as a retractor for calcaneal surgery and it prevents trauma to the soft tissues so to conclude i think every orthopedic surgeon with his experience uses conventional instruments for something else as an innovation and i think today we are going to see number of such instances uh, i must thank uh, dr chandak and uh, abhishek for giving me this chance to share some of my jugads with all of you i'm sure uh, we will see many more in the next few presentations thank you thank you very much mm -hmm.